Well, that begs the question if, uh, assuming that, because uh, everyone who listens to this show, these are the smartest, savviest writers in the world, because they're, they're listening to us, they, they know what's going on. And so yeah. they're going to write you a tremendous query, you're going to read their, not only the first paragraph, but you're going to keep going through all 20 pages, request the full, so yeah. that's going to go great. At what point do you start evaluating the author? What are you looking at about the author? And how do you determine whether or not this is somebody you're going to want to represent beyond just this book for a career? Yeah, I have to say, because I have been at this for a long time, it's really instinct. I can usually tell right away if there's someone I'm excited about who's writing that I really love. Um, and usually by the time I've requested the full, I, um, I pretty much know I think this is someone that I want to work with. However, I always ask, what's your next project? With a picture book, I need to read at least one other picture book that I like equally as well as the first one. Um, with a novel, I need to know there's at least another idea in the works. Because I, as I said, I want to work with someone in their career. And if, there's, if, it, if it's a one book thing, I'm really not interested because I, I really... When you're putting that much time and thought and passion into some someone's career, you want to make sure there really is a career there. So I, I need to know there are other projects in the pipeline. Gotcha. And that's the kind of thing you would discover during your initial uh, phone call with the author then? Yeah. So I would be in touch with them probably initially by email and say, what else are you working on? Um, how do you see yourself? Are you a YA author primarily? Do you do only picture books? Do you do middle grade? What else are you working on? Have you been published before? I kind of like to get a sense of who someone is as a writer. And you can usually tell right away. Um, it's kind of like when you go shopping and you know, you know when you see something, it's the perfect gift for someone. You just know and you don't hesitate. It's, it, that's kind of the feeling you have as an agent. And so if they come back and it's something right out of left field, well, I've got this wonderful middle grade book you've fallen in love with, and right now I'm polishing off an erotic thriller. Is that, is that something that uh, gives you pause? I know you've said elsewhere that if your client decides to write something else that is not usually within your wheelhouse, that you will find a way to represent that book also because you believe in the client, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure erotic is really what I do best, um, but yes, I pretty much, once I'm signed on with an author, I will do whatever they want. And if I don't, for instance, I, I had um, one author who wrote a, what you consider chick lick. And I don't, I didn't really know um, that, um, that audience, those editors, but I educated myself and I found out who those editors are. So yes, I will, I'm with someone once I'm signed on to them. And in fact, I think it's good for writers to flex all their muscles as writers. If you do picture books, you want to try YA, or vice versa. I think that's great. If you want to do an adult novel, it's good. Um, I think it's good for a writer to do all kinds of things. Some people only want to do one thing and that's okay too, but um, I do try to encourage my writers to try all kinds of things. And so for writers uh, working with you and you, you're out there submitting the first book and they're working on another one. How often do you want to hear from the writer? How involved do you want to be in choosing what their next projects are, are going to be? Um, I'm glad to be a sounding board for writers if they want to discuss a couple ideas they have, you know, what should be the next one. Um, yeah, I, I mean, writers can, can send something to me as, as, you know, as frequently or as, um, fully as they'd like. Um, generally, I say be in touch with me about every six weeks or so. Because I have about 40 clients, I, I, I'm not in touch with everyone all the time. Some writers take a lot of time, like if they're selling books consistently, I need to obviously take care of their contracts, their deal negotiations, um, or you know, chasing down checks or contracts, whatever. Um, but I would say about every six weeks, I need to, I, I'd like to hear from people. Gotcha. So, you know, we don't want me calling you uh, every other day to tell you what the update is on the, <laughs> the new book. You know, I really don't mind, but I would say every six weeks is a good guideline. No, it really varies. I mean, some writers do need a lot of handholding and that's okay. Um, one of my clients, Marky Price is a good example of someone who she's totally independent. I will, I called her one time and I said, so, uh, we have a deadline coming up for your next book. How are you coming? And she said, oh, I'm going skiing, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because I knew she would get it done. But I like the fact that she has a life. She's got other things going on. Um, she did meet the deadline. Um, it was, you know, the, the book 
came out beautifully. Um, but some people, every week, they need to be in touch via email or every month with a phone call. And that's okay, because um, every writer is different and I want to you know, take care of their own individual needs as a writer. And then, uh, so if I've got an idea, but I'm not sure, certain of it, will you be a soundboard? We can go back and forth. Do you want to see early revisions? Or would you prefer that I get half a manuscript, a full manuscript before you offer input? How? No, it could be just an idea. You could say, hey, listen, I've got this idea for a book. This character meets this character. This is the setting. This is the time frame. What do you think? And I could say, well, you know, it's kind of similar to what you did before. How about something a little bit different? Or I'm seeing a lot of that kind of thing. Do you have any other ideas? Um, I'm glad to see a partial. If you want to wait and polish it, show it to your critique group, then send it to me. At any stage, whatever you find useful, I'm glad to come on board. Um, I'm pretty open to that. 